Uh, so now while we are still continuing with our financial method revision, what I want us to look at now is basically I want us to look at the examples of, you know, a uh, simple interest uh, and also uh, your compounding interest, right? So I want us to, you know, dig deeper in terms of uh, finding the different examples between the two. Now let's look at number one. They say, uh, number one, if you, you borrow now 300 rand uh, a, at a interest rate, at an interest rate of uh 9% per annum uh, in a simple interest, how much will you owe after what, uh, after the seven years, right? So now what is important is firstly is to identify everything that you need to know. So they said this is on a simple interest. So you need to firstly calculate uh, now, we, what is going to be this 304? So this 304, it is for the what? It is for the money that is here now, right? The money that is being borrowed. So this is going to be the principal amount. So the principal amount is going to be 300. And what else are you then going to have? You are also going to uh, have the interest rate. The interest rate is 9%. And you know that 9% is the same as 9 over what? Uh, over 100 and 9 over 100 is the same as 0 0.09. Isn't it so? And what else are you given? You are given N, which is the number of years. And you are in this case, you are given seven years. And what you are looking for, you look, are you looking for the amount of money that you are uh going to pay or the accumulated amount of money after seven years right so now this is going to be a is equals to p into r1 plus your i multiplied by what multiplied by n and therefore this is going to be what is the principal amount it is 300 uh, into one plus what is the interest and it is going to be 0 0.09 multiplied by what multiplied by seven so therefore, this is going to be the same as four eight nine, right? This is going to be uh four hundred and eighty nine. So this is going to be the amount of money that is going to be paid after seven years. Uh, now example number two. Example number two, you are still now being, uh, you are still borrowing three hundred rand and you are given an interest rate of nine percent. However, now. Uh, this uh the interest in terms of what is going to be received at it is compounded it is no longer the simple interest now let's see in terms of what we are going to have that uh for our uh, compounding interest again we are going to identify what are we looking for we are looking for the accumulated amount which is going to be the accumulated amount after seven years what we are also given you are given the principal amount which is uh uh, the money that is being borrowed, which is going to be 300. And what else we are given? We are given the interest. The interest, remember, we said it's 12. And 12 is same as uh, what? 12 is same as uh, 12 over 100. And this is same as 0 0.12. And now after that, what you're also given, and it is given by your 7, which is 7 years, right? So now in this case, this is going to be A into what P is... Uh, into 1 plus your interest to the power of n. Now, what is the principal amount? The principal amount is 300 rand into 1 plus what is the interest that is going to be n? It is 0 0.12. Uh, the number of years, it is going to be 7. So the accumulated amount uh, that is going to be there now, this, it is going to be uh, your 500. It is going to be 548, comma, uh four one one it's going to be four one one seven three six right so this is going to be the amount of money that you are going to owe the bank so uh so this is going to be same as five four eight comma what four one remember you round those to two decimal place isn't it so so now that is going to be our example two now they say in example three you invest one thousand five hundred and seventy at an interest rate of twelve percent per annum compounded monthly. Now they say how much will you receive after seven years, right? Now that's the first question. So what we are being uh 
asked to do is to calculate the accumulated money after the seven years, right? Now, which means now this here, therefore, this is going to be the principal amount because this is the money that is being deposited or once off, right? So this is the money that is being invested once off and it receives an interest rate of 11 percent and your seven is going to be your number of years right so now which means your a is what you are looking for uh what you are given here what you're given here it is the principal amount which is uh 1570 and what you're also having it is the number of years and the number of years it is what uh, it is a uh, your seven years and your interest rate that you've received uh it is what it is 11 percent and what is 11 percent it's same as 11 over 100 which is same as 0 0.11 right so now let's continue and calculate so now this is going to be uh it is received in a compounding interest so therefore this is going to be a into one uh plus i so this is going to be uh, now, let's correct this very quickly. Now, this is going to be uh, A, which is equals to, this is going to be A, which is equals to the principal amount plus you I to the power of N. What is the principal amount? It is 1,570 into 1 plus, what is the interest rate? And the interest rate, and it is 0 0.11. Now, what is important is, Remember, they said that the compounding period now it is what it is uh, uh it is compounded monthly. So the interest now is going to be end how many times monthly? So that's why you are having this twelve here. Uh the 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 rates divide by twelve, right? So similarly here, what you are going to have, you are going to have the seven years, which is going to be also multiplied by twelve. Remember, the twelve means now uh the interest it is going to be end monthly, right? So uh, now, what is going to be the accumulated amount? It is, you are going to have uh, 3,378, uh, this is 95980, uh, uh, then it's going to be 888, right? So now, which means now if you then uh, round off this into two decimal place. This is going to be 3,378, uh, what, 96 cent, right? So this is going to be the amount of money uh, that uh, will be received. Now they say, uh, how much interest uh, you have earned after uh, the seven years? Now to calculate in terms of how much of the interest it is going to be earned, you firstly going to take the money that is invested and subtract to the money that is going to be accumulated, right? So which means your interest, for you to calculate your interest received, uh, the interest uh, received, uh, now this is what you are going to do. So this is, you are going to take this 3,000, uh, 378.96 cents, subtract the money that was invested, which is, was 1570, uh, right? 1570, right? So therefore, which means the interest uh, amount of money that is received or the interest that is going to be received is going to be what? It is going to be 1880. Uh, eight comma nine six cents. So this is going to be the interest. Uh, this is going to be the interest that is going to be received. Oh, uh, let's look at this example now. Uh, the so you invest one thousand seven hundred at an interest rate of ten percent, compounded quarterly. Now this is very important now to you know to take note of. Remember we said when uh it is compounded quarterly, which means it is paid home. How much it is going to be paid four times a year, right? And what is four times a year? Which means it is paid each and every uh, after three months. So the, the, the interest is received uh, each and every after three months, right? So now uh, they want you to calculate in terms of uh, how much will this uh, investment be worth? So now let's firstly check in terms of what do we have? Firstly, now we have the principal amount, which is the money that we already have uh, as a deposit, which was 1,700. 
And what else we have? We have the interest rate, which was 10%. And 10% is 10 over 100. And what is that? This is 0, 0,1. And what else we have? Now we have the compounding period. Now uh, the compounding period is quarterly, which means the interest that is received over 4. Isn't it so? Because remember, the interest is going to be received how many times? Four times a, uh, four times a year. And the number of years that we have now, it is going to be uh, six years. And therefore, now, from there, what is it that we can try and do to calculate this? So uh, to calculate here now, we're going to say uh, the formula is A is equals to P into 1 plus UI to the power of N, right? And now what is going to be this one? Uh, now this is going to be uh, the principal amount. It is 1700 into 1 plus what is the interest received there? It is 0 0.1 over the compounding period, which is 4. Uh, then which means this is going to be same as uh, 5 multiplied by 4, right? And now what is going to be uh, 5 multiplied by 4? Uh, 5 multiplied by 4, this is the accumulated amount that you are going to get. It is going to be uh, 3,000. It is going to be 3,074, uh, uh, 84, or rather, comma, 83, isn't it? So, so this is going to be the amount of money that is uh, going to be accumulated after six years. Now, what we are given here is, they say now 25,000 is invested uh, into, a saving, into a savings account. Now, uh, look, they say uh, calculate the value of the investment of the saving after five years. If the interest, it is what 11% compounded semi-annual, right? Now, let's see in terms of what is it that we can do to calculate this. Right now, to calculate all of this, this is going to be uh, now we are going to start by firstly checking what we are given. So, what you're given here, it is what it is 25,000. So, if this is your 25,000, and now this is going to be become principal amount, right? This is going to the principal amount because this is the amount available. So, under principal amount, you're going to have 25,000. Now, uh, and then now with this, the five years, it is going to become the number of years which uh, this investment uh, is going to take. So this is going to be your five years, right? And now your I, it is going to be your what? Your interest rate, which is 11%. And remember, we said 11% is same as what? It's same as 11 over 100, which is going to be same as what? Now, this is going to be also same as... Uh, your what this is going to be same as your zero comma one one, isn't it so? Which means what we want to calculate, we want to calculate what is going to be the amount of money that is going to be accumulated after that particular period, right? Now let's see and continue and calculate this. So this is going to be same as what now? Which formula are we then going to use? Now this is going to be a which is equals to p, uh, into one plus i. To the power of n the principal amount is twenty five thousand one plus what is the interest that is going to be and it is zero point uh, eleven or rather one one and now over what now they say this is compounded semi annually semi annual which means it's two times a year right two times a year so this is going to be over two and now this is going to be 5 multiplied by what? 2. Because remember, the interest is earned twice a year. So the accumulated amount of money, it is going to be what? It is going to be 4,242,703.61. Uh, so this is going to be the amount of money that is going to be accumulated uh, after that particular period of time. Isn't it so? So this is going to be after five years.